Okay, hi everyone, thanks for watching today. Today I'm giving you three exercises that you can use to help with your canter transition. And the trot canter transition is something that a lot of riders and horses struggle with because you're going from a two beat gait into a three beat gait and a lot has to happen as far as the horse being organized and the rider staying organized. So if you're excited for this video, give me a thumbs up and I hope that this video is helpful. Fargo is our demo horse today. Okay, so the first exercise, which I've actually done a video on before, and I will link that because I go a little more into depth, is the snowman. So what you do with a snowman is like, it's basically like a snowman. So you know how with the snowman, the bottom of the snowman is the biggest, and then there's a smaller ball on top of the big ball. So I'm gonna start on a 20 meter circle here in the middle. So this is the bottom of my snowman. Now when I come to the center line, I'm going to go on a 10 meter circle to the right. So a 10 meter circle to the right. Now when I come back to the center line, I'm gonna go back to a 20 meter circle left and immediately pick up the canter. So that exercise helps you get prepared for the canter and it's really important that right when you do that change of direction, you pick up the canter. So then I'm gonna trot, go immediately into a 10 meter circle right. This exercise also helps with your canter trot transitions. Back to a 20 meter circle canter, good boy. Your horse will start to kind of get the hang of it and know what's coming. You don't want them to anticipate but sometimes in them knowing what's coming, um, it helps with that transition. So 10 meter circle right, 20 meter circle left, oh boy. So, it, I, and of course do it in both directions. I'm only gonna demonstrate it one direction, oh boy. But, if you want more detailed explanation, check out that video on the snowman. Okay, so exercise number two. So this one I use a lot for horses that are kind of lazy or don't hear the canter transition or if your horse just, when you ask for canter, runs faster. So what this exercise is called is the walk trot, walk trot canter. So sometimes like if you're just trotting around for like five minutes and then all of a sudden you want to pick up the canter, your horse is so kind of asleep because they've just been trotting around that they don't hear you when you ask for canter or they'll just run faster in the trot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk and, and really I'm going to work on some trot walk trot transitions. So that trot walk, he got kind of lazy and long and he wasn't really in a nice walk. So I really want to be able to go from trot to a marching walk, back to trot and working on these transitions. Trot, marching walk, trot. So these trot walk trots, I'm getting my horse awake. I'm getting my horse listening, trot, marching walk. And then what I do is trot a few steps and canter. So the idea is that all those trot walk trot transitions have gotten your horse um, awake and round and a little bit collected underneath of themselves so that when you ask for the canter, they're ready for it. And then you can do the same thing, trot and ride away to walk. This exercise starts to um, also help get your horse where they are getting ready for the walk canter. So little by little, you just trot less and less steps until you can go directly from walk to canter. So here I just go a few steps, trot and canter, good boy. And that way you can start to teach your horse the walk canter and canter walks without so much stress. Good boy, Fargo. Okay, so the next exercise that I like for the canter transition is a leg yield into canter. So 
what the leg yield like in order to pick up the canner you need to get your horse off of the inside leg and into that outside rein. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn up the quarter line and then I'm gonna leg yield my horse off of the right leg and over into the left rein. When I get to the rail, 20 meter circle, ask for canter. So I really am using the leg yield to get my horse ready for the canter. So let me show you the other way once to the left. So that you use the leg yield to get your horse stepping forward and over into the outside rein so that they're ready for canter. So off the left leg into that right rein. My outside leg's already a little back so that I can just go smoothly into the canter. Boy. So give those exercises a try. Let me know if they help your canter transition. And thanks for watching.